Yeah. yeah. Fart ghost might happen. It's, uh, and Cherokee Hall is actually related to it. It's actually a pretty interesting story. Oh Cherokee, Cherokee has to tell the story of fart ghost. All right. Me and Heather went to, uh, with her family, to Gettysburg. And uh, that's like one of the most haunted places in, in the United States. I'm, I'm not really big into ghosts and stuff like that, but she likes to go to those, so that's fine. So we go visit the uh, um, orphanage there where after Gettysburg happened, there was a ton of orphans there. And uh, the, uh, the story is the first lady that ran it was a super sweet lady. It was really good to the kids. And then she got married and her husband didn't want her working. So she had to leave the orphanage. And then brought in this lady who was just evil, just mean to the kids. I mean, she got to, um, she would uh, lock them up outside all night in like the outhouse and stuff like that. She was literally just horrible. And she would get some of the older kids to be her discipline disciplinarians. She would have them beat the little younger kids with sticks and stuff like that. Well, they, uh, through certain areas of the orphanage, um, the lady would say, now, and here is where one of the stick boys is usually found. And she described him and stuff. He's, you know, early teens, but he was bigger than the other kids, and he always carried a stick, and he was mean to them and stuff like that. Well, let's flash back about two hours before we took the tour. I'd been on low carb, diet for like a month. I decided to break it since so I was on vacation and I got a milkshake. I'm a little bit lactose intolerant <laughs> if that means anything. So as we entered that room it started really building up in my stomach. <laughs> and she said that you can also tell he's here by the noxious fumes. It smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> About that time I let the biggest <laughs> fart out. Actually, it was across the room from Heather, so I wasn't like farting on her. And uh, I just, I mean, I was just kind of like, oh God, this is going to be bad. And I kind of walked away, and somebody over goes, I smell him. I can smell him over here. And everybody's like, oh my gosh. Going over, and Heather's going over, and I grabbed her, and I was like, it's me. And she's just about lost it right there. But we would go into another room, and it would happen again. I couldn't help it. I'd fart, and they go, I, he's following us. <laughs> he is following us. And I was like, yeah, the fart ghost is following us. <laughs> That's story ever. So some people left that with a nice little experience they can tell of the stick boy following them around and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I see a paranormal show, I think of that. <laughs> I swore I could have smelt him. <laughs>